Okay, so you're investors. So welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we're talking about Caridius Bioscience. So the ticket symbol is CLBS. So this company is sitting at one dollar and sixty-three cent. But after hours, this stock is up over one hundred thirty percent, and it's near that full dollar cost range. So in this video, we're gonna get into the company and also why is the stock up so huge. Then at the end, I'm gonna get into what I'm gonna do with the stock myself. But yeah, guys, before we get into the video, please smash that like button and also subscribe down below to support the channel and follow the million mile journey but yeah as always penny stocks are risky and volatile so only invest what you can afford to lose so be very careful and be very cautious when investing in penny stocks because you can potentially lose a lot of money but yeah let's just get into this video so this company is a cl um, clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that's dedicated to the development of cellular des and therapies designed to reverse diseases so this company has five product candidates or five products in their pipeline and none of which is approved or out on the market. So four out of the five products are in their preclinical stages and only one product is more advanced, but we'll get into that product later on in the video. So I'm not gonna go into detail about the five products. Um, everything, everything you wanna know, you can find on the company's website about what each product or what each medication do. So I recommend going to the website and checking that out. But yeah, so this stock is up huge today after they announced that they've treated their first patient in the phase 2B freedom trial with one of their leading candidates, which is the CLBS16, which is used to treat CMD, which is coronary microvascular dysfunction. So this company has initiated their phase 2B trial and now they've treated their first patient, which is very, very big. But yeah, we'll get into that. So this is disease, um, CMD, is a non-obstructive coronary artery disease that causes a decreased blood flow to the heart muscle. And this disease affects 8.3 million people in the US. And common symptoms include chest pain, tiredness, and shortness of breath, with many patients or many potential patients going undiagnosed and untreated. So as of now, there's no current treatment or approved pharmaceutical treatment for CMD. All they can do is just treat the symptoms. So this is a very huge market for this company. So this, this disease affects 8.3 million people and that's just in the US alone and there's no current treatment. So if this medicine was to be approved and out on the market, then they've got 8.3 million potential customers because like I said, there's no current treatment. So this, if it gets approved, will be the first treatment for CMD and this is very huge. And this is just in the US, so imagine worldwide. This company can go from the US and expand to Europe, expand to Asia because this is a disease that affects people worldwide and there's no current and um, treatments for this disease so this is very big and that's why a lot of these pharmaceutical companies are going up huge because the pharmaceutical industry is so big because the way it works is because this is f um, the first treatment and um, this company probably has a patent a patent lasts 10 years and what this means is that 10 years from the day of um, um, producing a medicine or the day of test up until um, that 10 year period, no other company can produce a generic form for this medicine. And that was the same with a lot of medicines out on the market, let's say paracetamol. So when it first came out, whoever invented the active medicine, no other company can use the active medicine for a 10 year period. That means that this company will be the only company supplying this medicine medicine for CMD to 8.3 million people and that's just in the US they imagine worldwide then after that 10 years then other companies can start to produce generic forms of the medicine so this is why a lot of these pharmaceutical companies are going up big because the revenue is huge the market is huge especially if the medication is innovative and there's no other treatment for that condition so this is very very big this company alone if they were to get this medicine approved can become profitable with just this one medicine out in the market because of how well it will perform and because it's in demand and it's also in a great need. So this is very, very big. The only issue for me is Although this is a big step, phase two, it's still a very long way away of being approved. And it's not 100% that the medicine will get approved. So you still have to go through phase three before getting approved. So um, this is another year or two before this medicine can be approved and out on the market. So that's a very, very long time. Personally, for me, I thought this is a stock that I keep on your wish list and keep an eye on. But as of now, I at least want the company to, to go through the phase two and make it to phase three. Because once they get to phase three, that shows 
more promising results, which makes it more likely that this uh, medication will get approved and be out on the market. And that's when we're gonna get, get the huge spike in this stock. And this stock will leave that penny stock status if this company was to get approved and get them uh, medicine out on the market. So let's just talk about the company's um, and financials and balance sheet because it's very important since this company is a penny stock so this company actually has 40 million dollars in cash and they have no debts whatsoever so they've paid off their debt so this is very very big because this is a penny stock that right now is under two dollars and they've got 40 million in cash for, for further development and further testing and they've got no debt and this cash flow is expected to take them through to 2021 but this is very good um because where a lot of these penny stocks the risk that come with it is the bad financials behind the company but this is not the case for this for this company so they've got cash on hand for more testing more clinical stages to, so, so they can afford to put their other four products into um, clinical phases in order to get them approved as well but right now I do believe the focus is on the CLBS 16 which is their main product which is now in its phase two and I believe they should keep that focus on that medication because them getting that medicine approved and that on the market will be huge in terms of bringing in revenue and once revenue starts coming in they can afford to put the other four and um, products or medications into clinical stages so, so so they can get them tested and get them approved and out on the market as well which will mean huge revenue and also let's talk about the analysts so one analyst gave the stock a buy and put a price target of 14 dollars and personally this 14 dollars is not in possible but this is not short term we're talking about two years before they can get a medicine approved and like i said that's if they get their medicine approved because it does have to go undergo vigorous testing and potentially it could be deemed to not be safe to be used on people which in that case it could further um, further clinical phases which means it can't be approved and out on the market so that's another another potential risk with this company because it's not 100 percent definite that this medication will get approved because as you can imagine other companies have probably tried the same thing to come up with a medicine or therapy to treat this disease and they failed and now this company is doing the same thing so it's not 100 it's not 100 that they'll get the medication approved so that's the risk that comes with investing in this company but this price target of 14 dollars long term we're talking two years is very feasible if they can get this medicine out on the market so personally um so this stock is up 130 percent after hours i feel like it's gonna run up today but personally i will not be buying into this stock i feel like the I want the company to develop a bit more, maybe take one of their medicines to the phase three. Personally, phase two is not enough because it's still got a very long way away to go. So they only just start giving the medicine to actual humans, so actual patient. And it could turn out that it has a, a lot of side effects or it's not well tolerated. In that case, it could fail this phase two clinical phase before even get to phase three, then this will cause the stock to go even below $1. So personally, I will not be buying in. I do think it's a very good company if you believe in their products. So that's why I recommend going into their website, maybe doing further research into each product and see the likelihood of it getting approved and out on the market, because that will be huge. Because imagine getting in now when it's at like two, $3, then in a year or two time, this could be a 10, 14, 15 dollar stock. So you've basically more than five to X your investment. So that is huge. So like I said, I will not be starting a position. But for anyone that is looking to start a position, I always recommend to, to invest what you can afford to lose. So if you've got, um, let's say $50, then even build a very, very small position, then obviously when it starts to go up, make sure to take profit along the way to minimize your risk. So if you invest $50 and it's up 100%, then maybe take $50 off. So you've took off your original investment. So now you've minimized your risk. So the only way is up, if you get what I mean. But yeah, guys, um, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, this was just a quick um, video to talk about this company because I know it's getting a lot of attention. So I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention as well. But yeah, as always, these penny stocks are risky and volatile. So be careful and cautious when investing in these penny stocks. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. And also don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe down below to support the channel and follow the million mile journey but yeah guys i'll catch you in the next video thank you for watching this video